welcome to Keith's Pie Tutorials, I'm Keith Ellis. This is the second part in um, setting up a Raspberry Pi Zero headless uh, using just a console cable. In part one we connected to the Raspberry Pi um, over the console cable, set up the Wi-Fi dongle and got access to the network. In this part I'll be talking about how to um, connect to the Raspberry Pi without knowing your IP address so we can set it up so we can call it a name and um, get into the Raspberry Pi without actually needing the IP address which is very useful and then I'll talk about how to um, get access to a Raspberry Pi um, using an Edimax dongle. Sometimes these dongles they're, they're quite popular in the Raspberry Pi community um, but when used on a headless Pi they can sometimes um, time out and the power management can kick in and um, if it's headless and you haven't got a keyboard or mouse attached, it can leave you locked out. So um, I've been having this problem myself and I found a solution to it, so I'll talk you through that. So I hope you enjoy it and um, let's crack on. So we'll pick up where we left off. We're SSH'd into our Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I'm going to do is sudo raspberry-config and um, it's a fresh install. So I'm going to expand the file system to make sure we're using the full SD card. And I'm also going to go into advanced options and um, change the host name, and you'll see why um, later. By default, every Raspberry Pi has got a host name of Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna give it a unique name um, called Zero. Unique to me anyway, it needs to be unique on your own network. Um, and we'll close the um, Raspberry config um, which will reboot the Pi. So once the Pi is rebooted we can SSH back in and um, type our password in and we'll see the command lines change slightly it now references Pi at zero so the, the command line references the host name we've selected and what we've actually done by changing the um, Raspberry config host name is edited two files basically slash etc slash hosts now references um, zero and also slash etc slash host name references zero so both of them files have been changed by the Raspberry config um, app. We're now going to install the small bit of software using sudo apt get install and the app name is A-V-A-H-I-D-A-E-M-O-N A-V-A-H-I-D-A-E-M-O-N um, Sometimes it's installed, um, sometimes it isn't, so it's worth installing it. Turns out on, on this um, image file it was already installed, um, so we'll exit um, from this SSH session and we'll try and log in without our IP address using SSH space pi at and then we'll use our new host name 0.local and let's see if it works and it looks like it has so we'll type yes um, and once again we'll type our password and we're in so we've just accessed our Raspberry Pi without having to need our IP address now just um, earlier we changed the host name, it was default Raspberry Pi. Now the reason for changing that is in case you've got more than one Raspberry Pi on your network. If you have more than one Raspberry Pi on your network, they're all going to be called Raspberry Pi and you're not going to know what Pi you're going to log into. So um, it's worth changing your host name um, to something um, more memorable, maybe that that Pi is going to be used for. Um, and then you can access all your pies um, based on a memorable name rather than some IP address which has been randomly given to your Raspberry Pi. So now our Raspberry Pi Zero is set up, um, it's ready to be used. But I just want to talk about these Edimax dongles. Uh, I've just put a, I did have a cheapie from eBay in here, but these Edimax dongles are quite popular in the um, Raspberry Pi community. And I've been having a little bit of trouble with this one. So let's 
plug that Wi-Fi dongle in there, the Edimax one, and boot the Pi up. So let's log into the Pi, SSH, Pi at zero dot local. Typed our password, and we're in, as we'd expect. Now I'm going to exit now, and then pause the video and leave it for 10 minutes or so, and then I'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll try again. Okay, I've just come back. We'll log into uh, Pi using the same method as before. And you'll see it's taking a little bit longer than normal. And um, we get this error message, um, could not resolve host name. And I actually, it, it's not because we're using the Pi um, at zero dot local. Um, it actually, it, I get the same error even if I'm using the IP address. Um, but however, on this occasion, when I tried the second time, it seemed to have woken itself up and um, I did get in. So uh, I, I played about with it for a bit more because when I have had the problems, I've just been totally locked out and I, I've been unable to get in at all. So it appears I don't get this problem on a Pi Zero. Now I wonder why, whether this might be because it hasn't got a USB hub. The USB connection is straight into the Broadcom chip. So I... Uh, um, played about with a couple of my other Pi's, a, a um, Pi 2 and a, also a Model B, um, just one of the original Model B's and I get the issue, the same issue um, on both of these Pi's and, and I get totally locked out with the Edimax dongle. So you may, you may not be having an issue with it but if you do um, I've got a fix and I'll run you through it now. So I'm going to log into another Raspberry Pi here. This is a Raspberry Pi 2, and I've called it Sense App, um, basically because I've got Sense App on the top of it, so it made sense. Um, so we'll log into that, accept all this, type in my password, and, um, and we're in. So this is a Pi I've been having a, a problem with. Now uh, I actually found the solution to the um, LMAX Wi-Fi issue on the um, Raspberry Pi forum. So I'll paste a link in below in the comments so you can read this whole thread. It's, it seems to be um, specific to a certain Edimax dongle. There, there's a few different types, so it'd be worth you reading the whole thread. But um, if you are having a problem, it's probably worth um, giving this a go. So um, we're going to create a new file I'm just going to copy it out the forum here, switch back to terminal, and then paste the file name, so sudo nano forward slash etc slash modpro.d slash 8192cu.conf. So we'll open, that will open the file in nano, and then we'll copy the contents of the file from the forum, and then paste it into the nano file. So let's paste it in. So we'll do a control O to save it and then enter and control X to exit. And then a sudo reboot. And then once that's done, for me anyway, this fixed the issue. So um, I'm very happy with that. Um, I just wanted to share this in case any of you was having a similar issue. Um, it was getting a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, this certainly fixed it for me. So if, if you get this issue, give it a go. So that's um, part two of this Wi-Fi tutorial finished. We covered how to give our Raspberry Pis a local host name so we can log into them without needing to know your IP address, which I find very useful. And I also covered how I fixed uh, an issue I had with um, some Edimax Wi-Fi dongles. I hope you found it useful. Uh, as usual, if you found it useful, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, I'd like to hear your comments below. Uh, good, bad, you know, indifferent. Um, I plan on doing a few more tutorials this year. I've got about, I don't know, seven, eight done last year. So um, probably a similar amount this year. I'll keep, I'll just keep um, putting these tutorials up every time I come across an issue um, I've had personally, you know, and um, I like to share my learning. So hope, hope it's useful, and um, I'll see you next time.